What I'm here to talk about <laughs> is the reaction to the video. Yeah, of course. Which, as we said, we sh- we knew was get- something was going to happen. It was bad. People immediately start calling him compromised. Uh, people were saying that Drake paid them. <clears throat> and the biggest thing, people were saying he was racist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the company man <clears throat> uh, made a video. Was like, yo, he got it all wrong. Cause the the big the big thing that caught traction on the timeline was him saying. Uh, that Drake said the end were 37 times for the 37 years he was alive, yeah, yeah. which we can all acknowledge is a fucking reach. That's clearly a reach. But what what's the dirt do is reach. Those videos, I mean, it, yeah, that's like from every video I've seen, even before all this, like like the early videos or at least like a couple, like a year ago maybe where he did the full timeline of Drake versus Kendrick. Mm-hmm. You, I watch it, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's a reach. But it's one of those things where it's like, oh, that's just, it's all interpretation anyway for the yes. most part. It's all re- reading into it. It's all hyper analyzing something. To analyze media is to reach. Yes. Like yeah. if you are looking at a, a, a book or a movie or a song, you don't actually know what the artist meant unless yeah, you don't they explicitly the, tell you. Yeah, you don't know it's the artist. It's up to like interpretation. That. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's all this this all these videos are is him interpret interpreted and shit. And to be fair, if a nigga say the N word 30 seconds, which we, you and I, when we heard it, it, was like, yo, this nigga did say nigga a lot in this song. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We didn't, I didn't count. I didn't count the N words. <laughs> I did, I didn't do, I didn't yo, either. Matt's a different guy, different beast. <laughs> Bro, no stone on turn. No stone on turn. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. If I counted all the N words in that song and I saw it was 37, I also would have been like, yo, he said it for each year. It's not that bad of a stretch. I mean, it yeah. is a stretch. We're not, but it's like it's not a stretch if you decide to take out that because that could have gone wrong. He could have said it thirty eight times, yeah. And then it's like, oh fuck, I just wasted my time counting. The exactly, words. exactly. But then you count it as exactly thirty seven. Come on, that's you hit the lotto with that. Exactly thirty seven is crazy. <laughs> like be, him being thirty seven years old and him saying it exactly thirty seven <laughs> times, on, bro. Like that's like, come on, yo. yeah. We gotta point that out, yo. He said I counted. I took my time to count these, and this is what I came up with. So Matt made a video responding to the company, man, which was now, like I said, he and our friends, I talked to him about this personally. Uh, his, his reaction to that was awful. I told him this. I was like, bro, you came off angry. You came off mad you, you, and you didn't come off measured. What you, it, 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 you was defensive. And whenever you get defensive and shit, and shit like, and shit like this, you, you lose. The thing that people are taking from what he said uh, to the company, man, was that uh, he said that he is a Carlton. Mm. He, yo, this Carlton ass dude. And I told him, like, yo, you, it, you can't say that about somebody. And like, I, Matt lacks the cultural context, which is something I talked to Four about a lot because Four is not black American. He is, uh, he is a, a Dominican immigrant. Yes. He came to this country as a, a, a seven year old. We were 11, 11. 11, yeah. I'm 7 11. I killed those numbers. He was 11 years old. So there's a lot of cultural gaps he missed, even though he grew up in the same neighborhoods that I grew up in, went to the same schools I went to, know the same people I know. There is a cultural gap you miss. Mm -hmm. And cultural context matters. When he called the company man a Carlton, he just meant, oh, you're you're a lame, you're a weirdo, you're a loser. You're a nerd. You're a nerd, which, to be fair, he is. But that's it's not not, not the wrong with being nerdy. There's no judgment on that. It's just, you know. Yeah, he was just trying to make a dig at him. The problem is that 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 phrasing is loaded language. It's very loaded. It's loaded in the sense that when a black American hears that, we think of Carlton Banks and what he represented. The black guy who wanted to assimilate to white culture to be accepted by whites and turned his back on blacks. Mm. And that's and that's when you say that as a white man existing in hip hop, it comes off wrong. And I told him all this. I'm like, you look nuts. You look fucking crazy. Because what you said is very, it's it's, as heavy. You can't say that. You can't say those things as a white man to a black man. You you just can't do it. You just can't do it. And and like he understood. He's like, I didn't even know. I thought I was just making a dig. Like I thought Carlton was like, no, that's a different thing you're saying. You you basically called him an Uncle Tom. You called him, and as a white man, you can't say that. You can't say that. Yeah. And he's now just wrong doing. I told him, I said, bro, get off the internet. Just get off the fucking internet. As somebody who likes to get get in and mix it up in the comment section, y'all know me on this channel. I get up and mix in the comment section all the time. Sometimes you gotta just get off the fucking internet. <laughs> yeah, you gotta log out. Some like you can't like. Sometimes you are fighting battles you can't win. 
And Matt was fighting battles. You can't win. You can't win when the people think you're racist and you white and you listen to hip hop. You can't do that. Not really, yeah. No. How do you? This is the same thing I asked uh, when when niggas say Drake was a pedophile. With the hard part six, yeah. yeah. How do you prove you're not a pedophile? How do you prove you're not a racist as a white man is in hip hop? How do you prove it? That's how do you prove it? It's no words you can say. How do you prove it when like you didn't like all you did was a, a microaggression? And yeah. he doesn't know what's a micro. He didn't say anything blatantly racist. Right, right. He didn't say fucking porch monkey. None of that. He didn't. He, it was a microaggression. Yeah, yeah. How do yeah. you prove that you didn't know that was a microaggression? How do how do you prove you lack cultural context? How do you prove that you are a a outsider existing in this culture but still wants to learn? How can you prove that? How can you? Yeah, that's hard. So that whole piece of it, you know, Matt's wrong. The video's good. And I think the bigger issue here is the Kendra Lamar fans, which I've been talking about forever, is that these niggas are fucking crazy. <laughs> these niggas is fucking nuts, bro. <laughs> nah, bro, I'm serious, bro. The, yo, they drove a man racist. <laughs> <laughs> Look what Kendra Lamar fans would do to you. They make you racist. <laughs> Yo, yeah, Kendra yeah. Lamar fans make the nicest white guy ever racist. <laughs> By the way, these ain't my words. Y'all thought he was a good white boy. Y'all they was did when that was six sixteen breakdown came out. When a sixteen when when a six sixteen a.m. breakdown and inside 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 LA breakdown came out. Yeah, y'all was all the meme white boy. You all right? All y'all was like, no, nah, he gets it. He understands it. The moment he breaks down Drake song and talking positive about a Drake song, calling down the middle like he always done. Nah, why this white man talking? I saw a tweet that was like, "Ain't no white man ever going to tell me what, ain't no white man ever going to tell me what a black man meant." Y'all got his last uh, video to a million views. Bro, this is I hate. What Y'all this did that, is. like, bro. There's this very popular podcast and online content uh, brand called uh, Dissect. Dissect. The whitest man you will ever hear in your life. Mm-hmm. When fucking Euphoria came out, I mm-hmm. can't tell you the amount of times that video got posted. Like, because he does a, like reels. He's been doing it for a long time. Usually, he's one of the biggest like breakdown like, yeah. uh, like uh, channels on the internet. Mm-hmm. I see that shit get posted so many times, and people are like praising it. You can now you all of a sudden it's like that. Yeah, white people can't tell me how to like what if that sec broke down Drake lyrics. Would y'all say that about him? Yeah, y'all would. Y'all be like, they probably nah. would, but it's funny because dissect. Is a Kendrick unlike fan? no, no, dissect. Unlike what's the dirt? Isn't gonna break down a Drake. Song. No, because he's a Kendrick fan. Yes, which I think isn't Matt also like a Kendrick fan? No, Matt is Matt is he's uh, just yeah, he's he's a hip hop fan. Okay, so Matt's just, just like, like a guy who just grew up it. when these guys were at the peak of like he grew up in that time when these guys were coming up. So this is like right. He, it's these, just like the fucking Super Bowl. Exactly. These are his goats. Yeah, that makes sense. But I, my my point still stands of like fans of both breaking down anything Drake related isn't what people want to see right now. No, it's 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 Kendrick. So whenever something Drake related does get breaking down, it's like they they come up with you'll hear everything. Oh, you know the the yo this song isn't worth breaking down. What what's the one viral tweet I, I saw? Let me let me see if I can pull it up. Yeah, that I saw that one too. Cause cause. Uh, this this was the tweet that told me everything I needed to know. He said, Family Matters was very surface level. It did not need a two-hour video dedicated to it. Let's be real. Now, same guy who tweeted that on June 28th, tweeted out, the breakdown of 616 in LA blew my mind. Great video, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's... It, Same guy. Yeah, it's too easy. I mean, this. Th- yeah, these are the people that are talking about this. Like, like this it's, isn't. It's, it's it's not true because the six sixteen video was like an hour. Six sixteen is an hour. So it's like so. The only difference is Matt. It was more to break down inside Family Matters. It was so much. It was the video, like you said. It, it was, was the, the video, video, the song, and the buried alive. Yeah, the the little Instagram post that he put that nobody remembers because you know Kendrick <laughs> dropped shortly after. Yeah, no, it, it's. It's funny to me that we knew this was going to happen. It still is like, I don't know. It's it's still crazy to see it happen. Like yeah. calling it beforehand, we all were like, oh, it's probably going to happen. And then seeing it happen, it was like, oh, shit. It happened exactly as we thought. Yeah. It's very predictable. The Kendrick fans are very predictable. Very predictable Anything people. that it's, 
anything that falls outside of like what Kendrick Sasser does, yeah, is immediately like shunned. It it really feels like a cult to me. Kendrick fans are the boys who cry racism. Yeah. The moment shit don't go your way is racism, 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 racism. That shit gonna lose meaning, yo. Y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta relax. You want some nut shit. <laughs> no bullshit. You you yeah. want some nut shit. Like it's and plain plain and simple. <clears throat> yeah. And I'm, I, I, and I'm the nigga I'm telling you, Matt was wrong for what he said. He wasn't racist. He lacked cultural context. Yeah. Right? But y'all jumped to him. Not because of the merit of the video, because the video is bad. He watched the video; it's a pretty good video. It's a good, it's re- very well researched. Same very as well, other videos, very well if researched. If anything, more research is longer, and there's yeah. more to break down. So, so probably isn't it his most ambitious video today? Probably, probably his most ambitious. Right, I would imagine so, because he's taking his time. Like with with this video, he knew there was going to be a lot <laughs> happening once he dropped. Like he was ready for this to, you know, be a consequential video in his, his library. So, like he took a long time to do this. So. Mm-hmm. For it to get dismissed too, like yo, he said the N word thirty seven times. What a goof! That that's it's like, come on, guys. Yo, I've seen way worse reaches about Kendrick Lamar. I remember the, sixteen. Fuck the shit. I remember it was the knock. Somebody broke down the knock at the front of uh, the Not Like Us, and it was yeah, like yeah, this yeah. go back to slavery. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this knock cadence goes back to slavery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all not seeing what he's talking about here because Drake is a colonizer. This knock it went it, it went Mitchell show, yeah, and yeah. Drake is a Mitchell show in hip hop. But it's it's far fetched to be like the nigga said like. Yeah, like, it, like look at what look at what y'all call reaches. Yeah. The only issue is that y'all don't see Drake as a layered artist. In the Mad is white. And Matt is white. Yeah, that's, those are the. Matt, things. I ain't gonna lie. Matt is white is is a is a uh, is just an extra thing because okay. if he wasn't white, if Matt was black, they would call him a glazer. True, that's they true. would just find something to discredit right. him. So it don't, it don't even his matter. whiteness. They're is, just looking for something. They're looking for something to discredit yeah. him. Yeah. His whiteness is just like a a, a, a feather in a hat. Yeah, yeah. Of like, oh no. Oh, he, oh, easy white. A, a, he's white. Is one oh of those. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, if yeah. I made that video, they be call, they call me a, a OVO goon glazer, <laughs> yes. and I would tell them keep sucking my dick. I'm about to come. <laughs> yeah, keeps. Oh yeah, you sucking it good. I'm about, I'm about to nut all in your mouth. That's what I would have told them. You call me a glazer. <laughs> Talk about some nut shit. You Talk know about some. Shit. I'm giving you some nut. <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, well, hello, potty mouth. 